straight up, I have to go for no bullshit in here. I gotta go on a fucking rant about this shit. So many people are marking out that Shinsuku, however you say his name, Shinsuku Nakamura, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, AJ Styles, and I forget who else, may, may join the WWE. That's a cool thing, except for one thing. This is the WWE, guys, where indie stars go to die. Yeah, Vince, track record of indie stars has not been that great. Well, the only exception has been CM Punk, but he quit after a bunch of bullshit that was going on there. Don't say Daniel Bryan, AKA, not AKA, I'm gonna go by his real name, Bryan Danielson. Do not say Bryan Danielson, cause his push or whatever you call it in there was mediocre at best. He had some amazing matches, but really, they wasted some opportunities with him. Yes, he was world champion or whatever he was. I agree with that, but they didn't treat him well. They treat him well, but storyline-wise, booking-wise, the booking on his shit was horrible. He had some intense good matches. He would had amazing good matches. I'm not denying that the CM Punk Daniel Bryan matchup, whatever that was a couple years ago, Fast Lane where they were not even the fucking main event at that show, where instead we had motherfucker John Cena and John Laurinaitis, that sh piece of shit guy, at the last match of the card. And meanwhile, we had CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan as before, like two matches before the main event. What the fuck is wrong with that picture? Huh? Really? But anyways, now get back to what I'm trying to say. Yes. If AJ Styles and these other guys do debut, that'd be cool, because let's fate. I'm not gonna lie, if AJ Styles shows up on the Royal Rumble, I will mark out, but that's just me, because I'll mark out for the first couple of minutes, and then reality will set in, because I know AJ Styles is in the WWE, and he's pretty much a dead in the water. Pretty much, because like AJ Styles is over 40, he's done all he can in TNA, whatever they did, they misused him so much over there, he did great in Japan, and he's the IWD GP. Vince does not give a shit if you're the IWGP champion or whatever champion. If you're not homegrown from his company, he will bury you. Just look at what he did to Adrian Adonis, a bunch of other guys, like uh, anyone that's not Hulk Hogan. He did that to Vader, Big Van Vader, who was a freaking monster in WCW in Japan. Got to WWE, Shawn Michaels buried his ass. Let's see, who else we got? Tyler Breeze, an amazing guy in NXT. Triple H has much praise for him, but that's Triple H. He is in charge of NXT. But now that he's on the main roster, he's dead in the water because Vince doesn't like him and denied his push. Triple H is not happy, but what he, he can't do anything about it because Vince is the man in charge. He does not like you, he won't push you. He did the same thing with the Ascension. They were a monster tag team in the NXT. Now they're nothing in the WWE main roster. The only one that are do the only one that's doing well so far is Kevin Owens, and that's because he's a Triple H guy. But Tyler Breeze was a Triple H guy. And look what happened to him. So so far, who knows? Down the road, Kevin Owens may go downhill. Even Finn Balor. Finn Balor even said that. He doesn't want to leave NXT because he knows what will happen once he gets to the main roster. He will flounder. He will do good once for a while, and then he'll flounder. Look at Michael McGillicuddy. Jobbed out after time. He's Kurt Henning's son. Talented motherfucker. Has nowhere to go. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, Shinsuku Nakamura. People are marking out like the marks and shit. Saying, oh, he's going to do awesome, man. He's going to do awesome. First of all, He's gonna come in with a bang. I agree with that. But then, just remember, a lot of Japanese stars from other companies don't do well at all in the WWE. Look at the track list. Kenzo Suzuki, yes, I'm naming him, even though he sucked ass from the beginning. He was supposed to be something, but wind up sucking. The Orient Express became a joke. Uh, Jimmy Yang Wang with the cowboy gimmick. Sakata, the other guy that never spoke, was barely used. Taka Michinoku, part of the Kayentai, light heavyweight champion, and the thing of 
being evil. And a whole rest of Kayantai. Minus Funaki, because he's not Japanese, he's Samoan. Take a real good look at him. Funaki is Samoan, he's not Japanese. Do not believe the shit that WWE tells you. Because that's what they do. Yokozuna is Samoan, he's not Japanese either. Yeah, those of you who don't know, just look it up. But yeah, Japanese wrestlers do not do well at all in the WWE. Well, the one that kind of made it was Tajiri, but they really didn't use him that much. They, he did some stuff, he made a name for himself, but then he got dwindled. Uh, I can't think of any other Japanese stars like, oh, um, what's his name? Yoshitatsu. Didn't, got, they did nothing with him. They absolutely did fucking nothing with him. So basically, Shinsuku Nakamura um, is like, I like the guy, I just don't want him to show up in WWE because I know what will happen. Uh, Carl Anderson, really cool guy. I like his talent. He's a good, but fuck. Again, he's got a flounder in the WWE. Doc Gallows, oh my god, this guy. The marks are so goddamn stupid. They don't remember that this guy used to be Festus with Ray Gordy's son. I know, Terry Gordy's son, Ray Gordy, when he was called Jesse, when they did the whole Jesse and Festus thing back in the day, where he played a mentally retarded guy when he, well, before the bell rang, he was like a, and when the bell rang, he was a freaking monster. And when that didn't work, they made him Luke Gallows, a part of CM Punk's Straight Edge Society. Even then he sucked. Then he went to TNA. Sh was shit there. And apparently he's a big name now because people are, like, losing their shit to Doc Gallows. Wait. Yeah, Doc Gallows. What is he called? Luke Gallows in WWE? Yeah. Or something. I can't remember. It's Who gives a shit about the Straight Edge Society? But now he's called Doc. He was part of the Aces and Eight in TNA. Did nothing. Of course, sort of did something in Japan. But this is Doc Gallows we're talking about. Yeah, pretty much dead in the water. But yeah, I just had to get this rant out of the way, man. Because I hear so many people losing their shit that these people may show up in the WWE. So far, they haven't. It hasn't been officially signed yet. They haven't signed their contracts yet. Who knows? It's all just talk, but people are losing their shit. It's like, yeah, man, they're showing up. Hey, they may show up or they may not. I'll believe it when they actually show up in the WWE ring, because that's when it actually matters. So far, everything else is just talk and rumors, which everybody's taking to salt, because like, my God, people just go crazy over the just rumors and talk and stuff. Me, I believe the shit when they actually show up on the WWE ring. That's when it actually matters. They can talk all they want on the dirt sheets and rumors and shit. I don't give a shit. I'll read it, I won't give a shit. But that's just news, cause like every time you hear somebody coming in, it never, never happens. And yeah, like WWE likes to uh, play their audience a bit sometimes. Like they like to do this shit. Just to get their people talking about the WWE so they can, you can like, Basically, so you can tune in to watch WWE because it's, it's floundering right now because it's not like before before the 90s and, and after the Fuck what was it called? Ruthless aggression era ever since it became PG it started to suck more and more each day And I barely watch this in like yeah, they say this shit that they may show up That's way they can like get people to actually watch your product because like they have nothing going on so far God god damn what was the last? Thing that was actually watchable in the WWE PG era. I can't think of a single thing because, like, Triple H and the uh, 40 figure are doing the whole corporation gimmick again from Vince McMahon's attitude era back in the day. Just recycling shit after shit. Keen unmasking and getting masked again over and over and over and over and who gives a fucking shit? Ah. Uh, my God. But yeah, I'm getting tired of my ranting because, like, Fuck this. I have to get this off my chest, man. The, the fucking marks, man. They just piss me off. Like saying, oh my god, these guys are going to do awesome. They're so going to do awesome. AJ Styles is going to rule. No, AJ Styles will not rule in the WWE. Because basically, none of these guys are homegrown talent. Except for Doc Gallows. But no one gives a shit about him. AJ, like I said, you want to see a track record of non-homegrown talent? Not doing well in the WWE? Just look at all... Just research it, man. Just look. Harley Race became kind of a joke in WWE when he was a legend in NWA. Jake the Snake Roberts did massively well, but not that great because he was an absolute legend in the indies. 
Hacksaw Jim Duggan before he became, oh, he was a monster in the independent era. Ah, uh, who else? The Bushwhackers, when they were in New Zealand. They were called the Sheep Herders or the Kiwis. Look it up. They were a monstrous tag team. They were not a joke, like the shit that the WWE did. They were huge monster heels. Heels as bad guys? Yeah, man. Fuck. They were not to be fucked with. Oh, and Taz. Fucking monster in ECW. Goes to WWE. He's like another short guy. Fuck. Yeah, and you are and you guys want AJ Styles to be awesome in there? He's not going to do well. He's going to be cool for a couple months or so. But then he'll just be like another guy on the roster. Just basically another guy. And I'll be waiting for that day to happen. I'm not gonna. I don't, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm, I will not look forward to that. But I know it will happen. But yeah, that's enough of me ranting for now. As I said, like previous times, which I have to stop right now. <laughs> but anyways, take it easy, humanoid nation. T bye.